everybody. So it's December and I'm off social media right now. Uh, kind of doing a little little fast from that because it, it got a little crazy with the launch. And I, I've pulled myself back, jumped back into creative. And oh, before I move forward, the Isle of Draska soft cover, we just got that approved and that's now on Amazon. So that's available. We don't have an audible yet, but there are three versions. Uh, you can go check it out now on uh, amazon.com. And so I just wanted to say thank you for everyone that's supported me so far. This has been a ride for sure. And you know, now that the first book is, is published and it's, it's rolling, I'm jumping back into the Jurassicverse and we're working book two. Uh, we're doing a lot of the history writing right now and the lineage. We just finished the lineage actually of all the knights and kind of what, you know, the power struggles of, of the times right before the Dark Wars began which is really kind of the time frame of when the first Isle of Draska book takes place. It's right before the Dark Wars begin. And I've got my editor, Rain, we're working on uh, developing the Dark Wars blog, which is gonna be geared more toward like adult fantasy. And it's gonna follow along this, this war that takes place in between the end of the Isle of Draska book series and the start of where you would play the Draska board game. So it's it's kind of cool. It brings you like like along the timeline of Draska this whole thing uh, when it's done, when it when we get it done. I mean, it's gonna take a little while to get everything done, but yeah. So by the time you read through all you know all the Isle of Draska books, you should have a really good idea of what the heck is happening when you're playing the Draska board games. So that's cool, and that's gonna be you know. My, my, my laser focus for the next few years getting those books done and this you know Draska blog which follows the story so updates on book two we are because we're writing all the history and stuff I've revised the first half of book two several times it's coming out really good uh, it's just taking me taking me some time it usually takes me two to I can get two to three pages done in an hour creatively where it's just I'm making it up uh, and then editing similar it can be two to three pages sometimes a little more it just depends uh, but yeah and usually when I'm writing I, I can get a chapter two chapters maybe three in a week but I'm burnt I'm completely burnt out after that and so it's it's been I wanted to get I wanted to have the whole book two finished before the end of the year it's just not looking like it's going to happen I'm about halfway there so book two will definitely release next year. It's just, it may maybe mid to late next year as opposed to earlier mid. Uh, so, but it's all good. It, everything's moving forward great. I kind of took a little step back from the story and I've been working on some of the games because those are really fun for me and the kids to kind of develop. Right now we're working on a card game called Hunt and it's Draska Hunt. And I don't want to give too much details on that uh, but it's it's really fun. They're really enjoying it. So we're kind of beta testing that right now. I've got Race to the Isle, which is the first game I wanted to release, and it's geared more towards the younger crowd, based on a more involved board game that I developed years ago, uh, right after I, you know, came up with this whole idea for this story. So, yeah. So I'm looking to maybe relaunch Race to the Isle quarter one or quarter two of next year 2022 and what's nice about what we've been able to do kind of since the first launch is really take a look at the map again take in all the uh, feedback and, and really get it aesthetically there where there's no confusion on the map there's little like little things even when we we're going through the launch that it was like yeah it's not a big deal but you know it, it would be we take more time to get it to, to get it all dialed in um, to the way it is now, which is what we've been doing. But um, So you're getting the best version when we go to relaunch. Uh, and I'm excited about that. We're just kind of, we're just kind of taking it one step at, at a time as we're working through, you know, book one and then Coco and Val and then book two is gonna be heavy in art as well. Um, thankfully, we have a lot of the, uh, a lot of the imagery and stuff already, already kind of ready for a relaunch for the Race to the Isle board game. So, 
I covered, I think, everything that I wanted to cover in this video. And you can always reach out to me if you have any questions or you know feedback. Um, if you haven't already, go check out Isla Draska on Amazon. If you have read it and you love you loved it, or you know you have any you know criticism or feedback, feel free to go on and leave a review on Amazon.com. I love all, all the all the feedback. Uh, and yeah, uh, sign copies. If you want a signed book, uh, just reach out to me on social media, and we can we can hook you up with one of those. And yeah, so lots lots more to do and lots more to come coming into uh, 2022. But uh, yeah, it's a blast, and I'm excited to bring more. So here we go. All right. Yeah. So my my uh, <laughs> one year old, she uh, broke her leg jumping on the trampoline. And she has a cast above that goes above her knee, and uh, this crazy child. She's had that cast on for a week, and she's walking on it. She's like throwing her leg, like kind of like a peg leg pirate. <laughs> She'll go all around the house. She's dancing to music. She's crazy. These kids are nuts. But see you next time.